So this is a quick video to answer a couple questions. First, the question is, can I run Zen server and PFSense? Yes. Two, is it a good idea? Well, not really, and let me tell you why. I have a video on how to set this up and how to configure it, and this is my lab one, which I do run inside of Zen Server because it's convenient. I generally prefer to run PFSense whenever possible on generally NetGate hardware and installed separately, so it's not part of a virtualization stack. It keeps things very simple. It, not that big of a deal. They're generally not high wattage devices, but if you're running at home, you want to combine everything so you have one device that does all the things, that's perfectly fine. One little caveat here, and I warn people about this, when you decide to take your virtualization server that runs all your servers and all your things and add your firewall inside of there, one, you can create your own security issues with there. So think about that because if you mix up your interfaces, you end up publicly facing things you maybe didn't want publicly facing. The second problem is if you're ever trying to troubleshoot a problem with your server, you don't have internet because you're troubleshooting a problem with the server during an update and your internet's out while you're doing the update. Think about those things real quick. If that's not a big deal to you, let's move on to the next issue. Now, the first question, I've covered this in my video of setting up PFSense virtually, and I'll link to that video below. So for those of you that want to take the time to watch the whole video to understand how it's set up, I have one. For those of you that are looking for the couple minute fix, this is the fix. Hardware checksum offloading. Check this box. By default, this box is unchecked. You check it, hit save, then reboot. If you don't reboot, it won't work. Now, it's a really simple thing. PFSense does not work properly with the hardware checksum offloading when it's in Zen Server. Now, I can't speak for every virtualization platform, but I can speak specifically towards Zen Server. Plenty of testing. You get random speed. Sometimes it's fast, sometimes it's slow, sometimes it just seems to crash. I've seen all the results. I know in my server, particularly with the R710 and Intel network cards, it basically just moves kilobits. It won't do a lot of connections and it's just kind of crazy. Check this box and it gets gigabit. Let me show you. IBC, the box is checked. My computer's IP address is 192.168.3.9, server listening on 5201. So this is my network 3.9. Let me show you how this network is configured. 3.150, so the WAN interface is on the same network as mine. 40.1 is the LAN side, and we have this. Actually, let me show the IP address. So the IP address of this box, 40.107. So we're going to up arrow. 3.9 goes to mine. And you can see we're getting gigabit performance, no problem. It works fine. That's all you really have to do to get it working. Now, if you want to go one step further inside of PFSense, because if you notice here, I have the RAM usage. That's because when you go into advanced, you're going to notice that it has the FreeBSD 11.2 P3 and the OS kernel information. That is because I have the Zen tools installed. Now, they're older. This is Zen Server 7.5. XCPNG specifically. And the reason is the package maintainers are a little bit older. And now I will show you real quick how to install the tools. Now these tools aren't necessary for network performance and don't seem to fix anything related to that, but they will allow you to do that. So you can just open up a shell, SSHN, however you want. Whoops. And it's, uh, type the command real quick here. It's PKG. I'll leave these in below. Install. Package install XE gas utilities. I think I spelled that wrong. Nope, I did. I spelled it right. All right. <laughs> I will leave the exact links in there. And there's a couple other steps you want to do to enable it in startup. I'll just leave them right in the description below rather than typing all It's already enabled on this, so I don't feel like double enabling it to show you the command. Now, last piece of this little problem. Firewall traffic shaping. The firewall does not have any interfaces that are capable of all queue traffic shaping. I have had trouble with traffic shaping, including the setting up the coddle limiters on here too. Traffic shaping does seems to have some incompatibilities when I'm running it virtually. Now the good news is I've been told, but don't have any way to verify this. I don't have a ESX server handy that it does work in ESX server, but that doesn't surprise me because ESX server has both been around for a long time. And when you go to the package manager, there are VMware tools for PFSense, so I've been told it works. Now, I can verify because I have tested it does work, but I don't know at what speeds. I haven't done any extensive testing with it. It does seem to support traffic shaping inside a virtual box. So, but 
once again, I don't know a lot of people other than for testing that would be running it inside a virtual box, but I just wanted to throw that out there. It does seem to perform fine in terms of transporting traffic. It seems to apply firewall rules perfectly fine. It just seems to have issues with some of the traffic shaping. And when I was running this at home, as I will show in a previous video, they ran into problems with buffer bloat um, and my game's messing up so it worked for a while it just seems like some games had some issues with it so i went back to a hardware firewall and all my problems disappeared and it works perfectly fine so that's this answer in the reply i'm going to get every time someone fires off another message to me how do i run pf sense and zen server and why is it going slow this is the shorter version of the video to show you how to quickly fix that thanks thanks for watching if you like this video go ahead and click the thumbs up Leave us some feedback below to let us know any details, what you like and didn't like as well, because we love hearing the feedback, or if you just want to say thanks, leave a comment. If you want to be notified of new videos as they come out, go ahead and hit the subscribe and the bell icon. That lets YouTube know that you're interested in notifications. Hopefully they send them, <laughs> as we've learned with YouTube. Anyways, if you want to contract us for consulting services, you go ahead and hit lawrencesystems.com and you can reach out to us for all the projects that we can do and help you. We work with a lot of uh, small businesses, IT companies, even some large companies, and you can farm different work out to us or just hire us as a consultant to help design your network. Also, if you want to help the channel in other ways, we have a Patreon. We have affiliate links. You'll find them in the description. You'll also find recommendations to other affiliate links and things you can sign up for on lawrencesystems.com. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.